Tension flowing because I smell a perfect war in the air from at least one of our clans. Baila de los Muertos! Nishan brings the dance of death! They are the squad with the highest hit rate of any team in the Clash of Clans World Championships. With an average 80% hit rate and their average destruction pushing into the higher, even 90s, they are certainly expected to get at least 13 stars here, maybe 14 or even another perfect war, just like yesterday. But on the other side of things, Batang is a squad from the upper branch having picked up the victory over 11 original they just need one more to make it to the playoffs this is your last elimination match of the day let's get some hype in the chat let's go woody and lee fang is gonna get us started with that yeti pekka smash combination we're gonna go ahead and start off with that battle blimp flying in here let's see where he drops that off rage spell goes down to take off that inferno lee fang perfect thus far in this world championships let's see if he can keep that alive it was a surprise to see Nishang Dance kicked down to the lower bracket. They had a super tight war, tighter than any other against the Queen Walkers, where they picked up a 13-star performance with 97.4% average destruction. You have potentially the MVP of the world for this year attacking right now. Lei Fang is undefeated and will have a smile on his face as the early entry for the Queen and Warden make a big impact in the top corner, Bash. This queen is setting up nicely for this attack. Jump spell goes down, giving those yetis and pekkas and bowlers all a pathway straight towards that town hall. And they're going to be raged up and moving quick, Woody. A rock slide roaring through. The first hit is good. And Lei Fang will drop every spell in the book to tear down this town hall. The first and second stars coming through back to back like a constellation. Lei Fang sees it in the sky and he will draw it on this map. Two stars claimed, but the troops are starting to path toward the outside. Archer Queen having trouble as a single loxer and a royal champion pop. Sir. Ability goes off to get through that Royal Champion and distract the single. If she can get through this wall quick enough, she could possibly get some damage. I don't think she's going to get much, but she does get some damage on that single. But check this out. We still got the King at near full health with the healers and a Yeti on along the outside with the Royal Champion still to be deployed. Sometimes you've got to roll the hard six and Lei Fang is hoping for that because this attack is looking dicey to be sure. One rage spell left and the royal champion deployed has got her shield ready to throw. She is not going to waste any time. Rage is down. The ability to crack through the inferno tower. But the last line of defense is mighty indeed. Scatter shot. Throwing boulders heavy and deep. The royal champion takes a down bash. She gets the scatter and that would have been the last line of defense to potentially slow this one down. She sh it, he should have range here. Oh my goodness, I'm in awe that she got that scattered down. Looking to finish this one off. Woody, he's on the path towards a three star. In awe at the size of this raid. Whoop, whoop for Lei Fang, the first triple of this war as Vatang have been crushed in this initial attack. Nishang Dance keeping their momentum high. Whoop whoop indeed with that three star Yeti Pekka smash. That's the way you want to start an elimination matchup. Remember, guys, the loser of this match goes home. The winner moves on to Championship Sunday, and Nishang Dance has set the tone early. Although Nishang Dance were in the lower bracket, they seem to have the upper hand here. Take a look at this first attack coming in hot on the ground. We've seen so many Law Loon hits, dragons, E-drags flying through the air, but ground does not seem to be the favored uh, attack strat, except for when it matters most. Nishang Dance get an early start here and will play defense now against the next hit from Kiberos. Kiberos of Batang picked up two two-star hits so far, yet to get a triple. He needs to get one now if he wants to keep pace against the terror of Nishang Dance. Using that battle blimp to not only take out those key defensive structures, but also pull out those clan council troops. But look at all those skeleton traps and all of these archers coming in. He's going to have to deploy that poison. Oh no, the poison's not on the super minion, so he may have to freeze them. But with no defenses on the queen, she should be fine here. But he's setting up, check this out, Woody. He doesn't have a hybrid. He's got a straight up queen walk hog attack. 
Yeah, managed to get those super minions down. There were only two of them, and so while they can deal quite a bit of damage, the healers kept her topped off. That is the power and longevity of a queen walk with a balloon floating on in, hoping to find a seeking air mine. It doesn't look like it's gonna get that target just yet. Another rage spell for this queen as she goes in deep, about to protect her from the single target inferno, but it's now locked onto her. She needs to retarget quick and take it down. It gets a single just in the nick of time. The free spell coming in to help her out, but she's got a path in towards that town hall, and she does just that. Destroys that storage, and she's on the town hall now, and then he's got a straight line through the back of this base, and here come those hog riders. Woody, they're going to target all the defenses, and that royal champion will help them along their path. Stunning success in stage one, and Kiberos is hopping over the walls with the Hog Riders. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome protects from a massive amount of splash damage. Crashing on in. Heal spell to top him right back off, and that scatter shot is going to be limp and incapable of doing anything about this huge demolition derby on the top side. One minute remains for the final corner. Multi target Infernos is cooking these hogs into bacon. Can they finish it off? The multi is burning him up, but check it out. We still have the queen at full health, the world champion near full health with her ability. I think Kiberos is going to have a three-star response for Vatang. Surely he gets this one done. That's the response this squad was looking for. Back-to-back -back three stars from these teams, knowing it's all on the line and getting the job done in the first round of attacks, Banks. Vatang and Nichang Dance are level pegging after one attack apiece. Two triples on the board, they're both happy, but obviously their opponents are just keeping up to speed with them. So it's all about who can maintain the pressure, who can keep putting up the triples, and who can get through into tomorrow's Championship Sunday, Woody. This has got to be a little bit scary for Nishang Dance. If they expected Vatang to crumble under the pressure, they were wrong. The first three star of this month coming in from Kibaros, and that is exactly what they were hoping for. Strong backup performances from the rest of the lineup will mean a very tight finish here in our second elimination match of the day. GYY, the next attacker from Nishang Dance starts with a Warden Walk on the left corner. Easy shots at several defenses on the backside with Sneaky Goblin's gonna take a few more pop shots at the resource buildings as well. He's gonna take a few more uh, buildings on the bottom corner, top corner, any site he sees on an undefended building, it's going down lickety split. Setting that funnel, setting that path of destruction. Remember GYY came in with that amazing Electro Dragon attack yesterday, but switching here to that Yeti Pekka smash, which should have nice destruction. No lightning spells on this one. However, he does have two jumps to get through this base. And you're right, Woody, those outside buildings falling quickly and this funnel is setting up nicely. Some spell on the exterior, getting ready for these Yetis and Pekkas to hop over the wall. Seven bowlers as well for that splash damage to rumble over the walls. And we've got our main force ready to go. Siege Barracks up on top is going to add even more pain to this army comp. Single target Inferno annihilated before it even gets a chance to take down a single troop. Rage at double rage. Another jump spell. GYY is wasting no time hopping over walls like they are nothing but little tiny hills. His oh, Yetis no. sending out the Yeti Mites all over the battlefield. Defense is getting wrecked. Woody, the bowlers jumped over the wall and into the Giga Bomb. He just lost all of his bowlers right there. The Warden's ability was a little bit early and wore off. So all the bowlers go down to the Giga Bomb. So it's going to be on these Yetis, the King, Queen, and the Royal Champions to finish this base off. But he's still got quite a bit here with two free spells in hand. He could still get this one done. Although he had stumbled, he is not gonna fall. He gets right back up again, and just like Chumbawamba, won't be knocked down. GYY on the last line of defenses. A Tesla farm pops up, but the last freeze is there to shut them down. A blizzard of annihilation for GYY. Could this be the third three-star in a row for this war? Back to back for Nishang Dance, GYY getting it done with this smash composition. Smashes right through the defenses of Lance Lada, and Nishang Dance keeps the perfect streak alive thus far in the war, and our response will be on Vatang. That's a lot of damage. GYY is keeping the Phoenix's rise 
through and through, heating up to the hottest tip they can muster. Tian will be the next to strike for Batang. It is quite difficult to expect another triple here, but he might be the one to do it. With two already on the board, Tian, along with Lei Feng and GYY, have had perfect wars for Nishang Dance. Keep it to, or for Vatang, excuse me. Oh, hold on. Lancelot is attacking. Lancelot is attacking for Vatang here, Bash. <laughs> Lancelot going in for Vatang against Tian of Nishang Dance. You're good. I got you, Woody. I got your back, brother. Let's do this. Uh, so we're going in with a Queen Charge Lalo to get started. Lancelot looking for that massive response. Can he get it done as this queen is working the outside, looking to push in and get some of those awesome defenses such as that Igor artillery and those scatter shots and maybe even push a little bit further in with two super wall breakers. All right, so Tian will be on defense now against Lanzlata who just took a three star on the chin. He's gonna hop back up but loses a healer early on. Mine's blowing off and he hasn't got any uh, coconut loons to try to catch just yet. Archer Queen takes a smashing hit, and another Seeking Air Mine kills another healer. Lands Lada in a lot of trouble early on as the Archer Queen does her best to tear down these structures, but that's gonna force multiple quick rage spells out just to keep her alive. She's working, he's keeping her up, he's trying his best, and she's gonna get what he's looking for here. Both scatters should go down, and the Ego Artillery as well. She will have to force her ability as the world champions. Oh. No, she's, she's fine. I lied, she's flying through the clan castle, the headhunters and the royal champion rages up. What a queen charge here from Lanzlada. I shudder to imagine, but it seems like he's gonna come through after all. That queen has got multiple rage spells. Those healers doing their best to keep her topped off, but you can't stop the splash damage. Scattershot gets a fire in and the queen is down. She got a big impact on this base, but so many traps annihilating her healers have finally turned their toll. She is finished off and it's just up to the balloons now. There's no more tanks out in front. They're sore and through with the eternal tome they'll grab the town hall but there's a lot of defenses remaining bash two stars secured and we have that queen i'm kind of surprised he didn't use one of those freezes perhaps like on the pups and scanner shot to try to keep that queen up this scanner shot is going to be menacing here the royal champion finishes it off but there's not too many balloons remaining the free spell comes in I, i'm speaking too soon because lanzlana has got this one under control my apologies lanzlana do your thing make it happen man the three star response from Vitang Woody, four, three stars in a row. What is going on? The damage is managed. Lanzlotta from Vitang continues not just a perfect war for his own squad, but overall four attacks and 12 stars in this superstar matchup between Vitang and Nishang Dance. Elimination on the line and neither team will blink on the precipice of defeat. Sitting back down in the lower bracket, both of these clans pulling out four triples. We've had two triples apiece, and they're both fighting tooth and nail to remain in the competition and get through into Championship Sunday. This is an absolute nail biter, and I hope you viewers at home are watching closely because this is going to have a big finish bash. Oh man, this is what I'm looking for. Elimination. We know Nisha and Gans can put up the perfect. They did it yesterday. But Tang gonna look to keep up with, with this squad. Nisha and Gans, we got Sue coming in with that Queen Charge hybrid. He did have a two star in the first war yesterday, but came back with a three star. Can he get it done and keep the momentum alive, Woody? Thanks, I have been biting my nails for so long that I'm just nibbling on nubs at this point. Sue from Nishang Dance with another big ground-based army will start a queen walk in the top corner. Five healers ready to add on, but he's gonna soak a coconut loon if he can find a Seeking Air Mine somewhere up there. A couple of goblins pop out from the CC and will distract her for a little bit, but that's not gonna be enough to stop her. One poison spell ready to drop, but he hasn't sent it in yet. Sue will use the queen's long range to knock down those aerial super minions. A rage spell as well, and the balloon floating through catches the seeking air mine, Bash. Ooh, good call there, Woody. Catches the Seeking Air Mine. That first loon actually distracted the Super Minions just enough so the Queen could sneak in there and take her, take them down. And here we go with the Miners and Hogs coming in. 
I'm surprised we don't have the king. There he is. King's coming in on that left-hand side. Gonna help set that funnel. The tornado goes off, but it doesn't catch much. That tornado is pretty much wasted as we should get right into the town hall. This action is picking up for Sue. Who does lose a healer or two as Seeking Air Mines in the top left corner are no good news for him. Young Hunt's defense is doing their best to repel this attack, but early offense with another Eternal Tome will knock apart the Town Hall. Sue's got the double and he's looking for a triple. Half of the base annihilated and this is not at all a problem in terms of time. It's all about finishing off the last scatter shot in that right corner. A single target Inferno burning up on the Royal Champion, but she'll survive a bit longer. One more free spell ready to deploy. Boy, Sue's got it in hand. It drops it, Bash. The free spell on the single target Inferno gonna be amazing to keep that world champion alive. Queen gonna beat through the wall and she should be able to get to that scatter shot. However, the bow is gonna take down the royal champion here, so we're not gonna have much oh. on the bow. Wait, wait. Warden OP taking down the bow by himself. Queen's gonna beat through the wall and take out the scatter. This is still alive, Woody. Pops her last ability and Sue doesn't have much more left to do. 48 seconds and a couple of troops left to deploy, but there's no more big targets left. It's just walls that separate him from his final destruction derby. Sue on the path to glory. The fifth attack in this war will be a triple. Oh man, how is this happening? Three for three for Ni Shang Dance, keeping the pressure up for Vatang. They're gonna have to respond with another three star. This Ni Shang Dance squad is not slowing down that momentum they built yesterday. Young Hung's base goes down to the hybrid from Sue. We have not yet this month seen a war so tight with often scaling forward all across the board. Five attacks now and 15 stars counted up for both of these two clans. Diff from the Tang will be the next on to bat. He's got two three star hits from his last couple of wars and is gonna keep the pressure going in strong bash. I was just gonna mention that Diff got the triples previously, so he should be able to help keep this momentum alive as he goes against Lee Fang's base here on defense. Let's see what he's bringing to the table. And Woody, we got a Zap Quake Dragon attack here with seven lightning spells. May look to take out the Clan Castle or Eagle Artillery, or maybe even spread them around a little bit. Lots of options. We'll have to see what Diff from Vatang does as these lightning spells get ready to come in. It's not often on these players' minds, but time remaining is the final tiebreaker if there does happen to be an even Steven standing on stars and overall destruction percentage. Dip has got to be making moves fast because with 10 dragons, they don't necessarily go in super quick. One rage spell will be a little bit to help keep them on target, but it's mostly about trying to loop all the way to the backside. He knocks down a, a, an Inferno Tower early and with the Royal Champion Crucible along the outer edge, finds some additional support with a Barbarian King ready to chop down some more structures and get the funnel set for these dragons to swoop through the bottom right side. Woody, look at all of the defenses he got down from the zap combination with the earthquake and then that royal champion, her seeking shield just took out so much and those bows are, two out of the three remaining bows are set to ground so he's set up really nicely to fly in here and take this base down. We still have the queen to be deployed as we're getting ready. Here we go, Woody. From this left-hand side, the dragons are going to fly right at the town hall. Balloons to check for seeking air mines on that Tesla farm, and Dip finds none. He sends in the Stone Slammer to knock those apart, and this is going to be an easy sweep for these dragons. He must be feeling awfully confident because there hasn't been anything to stop him yet, and very likely there will be nothing to stop him on the backside. That Rand Warden doing his best to cover as many dragons as possible, but with the free spells coming in to stop that Giga Inferno and an air defense, Dip is getting maximum value from these spells. Eternal Tone protects from the Giga Bomb Cluster, and this looks like like a triple once again to me, Bash. This is looking really good, Woody. The value from his opener with those lightning spells was incredible. Set up the pathing great for the dragons and <laughs> save the queen here until the end just to help finish off some of these defenses and some of those higher hit point structures. Surely a three star for Diff. This is incredible. Three for three for both of these teams and we are on pace 
for an amazingly high scoring war, I'm gonna say, because I'm not jinxing anything, Woody. He took the road less traveled and that made all the difference. But Tang with another three star using the mass drag strat took a big chunk out of the top left side of this base and finished it off so quick, Lei Fang is left reeling now as another three star from Batang keeps these two teams exactly even. The fourth hit could be the upset. Keep your eyes peeled and let us know in the chat who you're cheering on. Batang or Nishang Dance will go home after just 17 more minutes of combat. Well, we are six for six between these two clans as we go into the fourth attack for Nishang Dance. Can they keep this alive? Bash, take us in. Oh, baby, here we go with Tien with the P.E.K.K.A. Smash, an old school style attack. But this one has made a resurgence here recently, and I am loving seeing this one. Going to use that Battle Blimp to get nice and far into this base and also pull out the Clan Castle. How, okay, I was going to say he didn't get a full Clan Castle pull, but those Yetis went back in to get the rest of the Clan Castle out. We got Headhunters, we got a Witch, and we got some Archers that would need to be de dealt with by this Archer Queen walk. This aggregation of the troop composition in this clan castle, lots of different stuff to deal with, but Dion's poison and a queen backed up with a Grand Warden is gonna be enough. Keep an eye on that single target Inferno. Once any of those heroes get in range, Tian will have to be very careful to shut it down quick. Drops a freeze to help this balloon get a little bit closer and buy some more time for the heroes. Is the balloon gonna be able to take it down? That's it amazing does. value bash! One free spell, one balloon takes down the single target Inferno. 200 IQ play from Tien, and this is gonna give him great pathing right at the town hall and through the middle of this base. The king gonna come in to set that top funnel. Here comes the wall break, and this one is shaping up nicely. Tien looking to keep the perfect streak alive for Nishang Dance. These troops are all going towards that town hall, Woody. When there is no trail set before you, blaze one of your own. Nishan Dance are on fire. And with an eternal tome early in through the gates, the town hall torn down and the second star will be claimed. Another rage and two of them actually with a freeze to back up the back end. Two multi-target infernos and a scatter shot are gonna be a lot of splash damage, but these P.E.K.K.A.s are looking mighty. Hopping over the walls and still at a huge hit point amount. They are gonna be demolishing everything inside. I think Tad's done it. He's looking for another triple bash. Oh my goodness, Woody. These teams are on fire and TN is getting the job done. That was amazing pathing with that queen walk, that single balloon, getting that single target in front of down and check it out. Nishang Dance, four for four, perfect thus far. And I'm going to say it, they're on pace for the perfect war, fifth Team stars, it's gonna be on Vatang to respond and build that momentum themselves. Woody, we are on pace for something historic in this elimination matchup. Remember, it goes to stars and then it goes to percentage. And in the off chance that we get a star and percent tie, it comes down to the matter of time. When it comes time to rate Tian's attack, he gets 10 out of 10, if you ask me. Another perfect showing for Nishang Dance. He did save onto his free spell and an Archer Queen ability. That might have cost him a few precious seconds if this does wind up being an evenly split perfect v perfect war that is completely unprecedented and the annals of clash of clans championship history we have never seen a perfect v perfect but with only three attacks left there is every chance in the world that that is what we are watching now bash i'm a little bit nervous here woody young hung going with a super strong strategy within the super witches yes pun intended however this is one of the known strategies to be slow. So if it does, I don't even like emphasizing the tame time factor, but if it does somehow come down to time, this tends to be a slow attack strategy, but he's wasting no time, less than 30 seconds into the raid and the witches are in. That's what I like to see from Young Hung, diving straight at this town hall. 
Gung Hun is eager to prove that he is not the weak link in this massive Batang Chang. He got a one star 60% in his previous war, but with three perfect hits already from his squad, he is going to try to back it up once again. Brought only four super witches rather than the typical five for this strat, and that was to bring an additional ice golem and some support from balloons along the outer edge. He's got a nice entry point here, but the super witches are starting to spread out to the outside of his base. An archer queen still bears burying deep in with some hogs along the top to protect, but I don't know if this is what he intended, Bash. No, not at all. Those three super witches said, I'm out of here, and they went around the outside. If the queen can gut the base, it could be all right. He's gonna have to get this single down with the royal champion, throws her seeking shield just in the nick of time, but this is gonna be an intense, intense finish. The royal champion gets down that key defense, but the eagle is tucked away into that compartment. This is going to be a close finish here for Young Hung. Lots of troops still up, but a minute 20 times ticking. Let's see how this one finishes up, Woody. An unexpected follow-up, but it's sweet like RC. Cola killing the royal champion. The archer queen is still on her charge through the base. Healer's taking some fire now as those expos are starting to finish them off but the queen has got some more support still a couple of super witches on the outer edge with a grand warden doing their best to take them down but that eagle artillery's maximum range is firing away at them young hun is running out of time and he's running out of options one free spell left where will he deploy it bash oh no the last super witch gets obliterated oh. the one thing he has working for him is this queen is beating on the wall to get into get access to everything she gets through here she'll have access to the rest of the base we have that last big boy tanking wizard gets down the air defense 27 seconds he's got a shot here to get the three star but it's gonna be close as these defenses Four are the way left the bash he goes for the bomb tower oh no woody they're firing away! The last Expo! Grand Warden locks! Needs more shots! Expo's oh. firing! One more hit! Oh, he has done it! Young Hun keeps pace for his squad! Eight attacks, and they're all triples bash! All the way oh, down to the wire. Oh my goodness, Banks, that's incredible! Yes, all the way down to the wire. I can't believe, as we're seeing all of our players uh, sat in front of us from Batang and Nishang Dance, they all look so calm. I know that there's probably a bit of panic internally, but none of them giving anything away from their faces, as you can see. They're all praying now. Oh, you can see from Batang's side, they are praying <laughs> for that additional triple at the back end. So it's down to the last two attackers from Nishang Dance and Batang to see how they can close this one out. And we're going to have Eunuch going first, Woody. This is without a doubt the closest war we have ever seen in the history of Clash of Clans Esports. 12 stars to 12, only one hit left for each team. Who is going to pull ahead? It is now or never, Bash. It's all on the line for these squads. Never has this statement been more true. It comes down to this final attack. Unix going to step up to the plate and go to bat for his team and try to knock it out of the park with this P.E.K.K.A. smash. Nishang Dance has been crushing with this attack. Can they keep that alive? Battle Blimp coming in to take out the single target Inferno. Let's see what he's got, Woody. Bases are loaded and it's the top of the ninth inning. Unique from Nishang Dance has picked up a triple before. Can he do it again? He picked up a 99% two star in the first war and that's what sent Nishang Dance down to the lower bracket. He does not want elimination on his plate and he has got to do everything to not just get the triple but to do it as quickly as possible. He's got to move. You're right, Woody. The queen is working through this Lava Hound. Remember, the Lava Hound tends to slow up troops, but with that poison was perfectly placed. He's going to go ahead and get those Lava Pups dispersed. And here we go. The queen's going to charge towards that town hall, and we'll see all of the P.E.K.K.A.s come in with those bowlers right up the middle of the base as we have Super Wall Breakers and a jump. Look at the Eagle Artillery on the scatter shot on the back end. That's going to be something to keep an eye on where that Royal Champion comes in as well. King's in to help the funnel, and Woody, this is shaping up nicely. 
Lots of splash damage back on the outside, but a tornado trap caught in the middle isn't going to be too much for Unique to worry about. Spinning around and taking a bit of damage, but he will survive that outer windy blow. Traps are going to be an issue for him, though, as all of his troops stacking up in the middle have got to hop over these walls and get to the inside. Got to soak a Gigabomb with his Archer Queen. The only jump spell has been deployed. He's got a lot of base left to go, and those Pekkas are taking a beating bash. It didn't seem like that's where he wanted the jump, but he had to adapt to get these troops a little bit back inside the base. Man, they are not doing what he wants. He has to pop the Queen's ability. Those P.E.K.K.A.s going outside. Oh, no. This is not going to plan for Eunuch here. Let's see if he can get everything back on track with this Royal Champion. He's got the Witches inside the middle of the base, but the Queen's going down. One Rage spell. Oh, no, Woody. No! Oh, no. What is happening? Eunuch drops a Breeze on an Expo, missing the uh, Eagle Artillery I think he was aiming for. Less than a minute remains, and it seems three stars are out of his chances here, but his team could still win. Needs as much damage as possible to get that total even higher. A rage spell goes down in a really aggressive spot here. The final freeze is out, Bash. Oh, he gets the, the eagle artillery with that rage, and the royal champion rage gets so many buildings. 29 seconds. He's still alive here, Woody. It's not over. He's got two packets at decent health here, but time is ticking away here. 20 seconds. He's got one more wizard that's going to need to be deployed. These witches stuck in a wall is brutal. He needs these witches to get through with these skeletons as fast as possible. 14 seconds. I don't think he has enough time. Oh, no, Eunuch. This is not going to get there, Woody. Eight seconds. No! Devastation for Nishang Dance. They've got the gas left in the tank, but couldn't get the acceleration going. Oh. They ran out of time with a 90% two-star. They've set the bar high, though, and Vatang need nothing less than a 91% to come on over the top. Wow, that was devastation. Those Pekkas did not want to go inside. They took that outside path and he had tried to get them back in with the jump. Perhaps could have moved it up a little bit, but man, it, I think the jump was just a little too late to try to save it, but it's all going to come down to this final attack for warning. Good luck. Here he goes. He needs a 91% two-star and he's coming in with the Zap Dragons. What are you thinking, Woody? Pressure's on. This is by no means a guarantee for Vatang to pick up the win. They might have four three stars already, but Warning has yet to get one of them. A 76% two star and a 66% two star. He is not on an upward trajectory and will definitely need to give it his all in this very final fight. Nishan Dance like a phoenix picked up 14 stars and a 98% average destruction. If you had told me before this war began that that would not be enough to guarantee advancement, I would have looked you dead in the face and called you uh, something nasty I shouldn't say on stream. <laughs> Warning from Batang has got his bottle set up on the right side corner and will be pushing in hot bash. He's got, look at what he did here. He gutted that whole corner with the Royal Champion and the Lightning Spells, and he's got a great shape here for the dragons. A lot of times we'll see those heroes coming to keep the dragons inside, and that's exactly what we see here. Yeti, King, Queen on that left-hand side, and we're making a strong push right in towards the Town Hall with the Drag, Loon, Stone Slammer, and Warden here, Woody. Rage him up with a Fusro Da! The Dragon Master Warning knocks apart the Town Hall and claims the first star. Remember, he needs a 91% overall damage to get the win for his team. Are they golden? Are they diamonds? Will they be alive when it's all said and done? One and a half minutes separates Batang and Nishan Dance from elimination or glory in the playoffs. Oh man, these dragons are fading fast. We still have that stone slammer as that pops right there. We got the queen's ability. We still have quite a bit. I don't know that this has enough to get there as these dragons are going down quickly. However, the queen is healthy. Oh man, this is gonna be close, Woody. I think he's, he's got it. He here. still has the he's queen done. ability ready to use. Balloons might be stacking up, but they have done all they needed to. He's on a rampage. Warning has yet to get the three star, but this is his chance to shine. Two stars and 91%. The Tang are going to the playoffs. Oh my God. Goodness, he got the three star, got through this brace. We get the perfect war. Warning gets it done, Banks. 
Words were never truer that that was an absolutely brilliant performance from both clans. But the Tang managed to secure that win and go through to Sunday's finals. The most admirable performance as well by Nishang Dance. You hate to say it, but they will be going home and that is the end of their World Championships journey. Congratulations once again to the Tang for making it through into tomorrow's playoffs where they will have the opportunity to battle it out on Sunday for that all-important World Champions Trophy and the $1 million prize pool. I mean, I can't believe what I've just witnessed. We were so close to having a perfect war, weren't we, Woody? We did get a perfect war from the Tang. Nishang Dance slipped up, gave him an inch, and they took a mile. Drilling in deep, I have got to congratulate both of these clans on the